Mysteria Steeped in Tradition Behind a veil of mist lies a hidden world, tucked amongst the mountain ranges of Mysteria. Vibrant trees rise from the steep cliffs, birds soaring through the canyons, flashes of silver coursing through the rivers far below. The sun streams through the clouds, illuminating the buildings rising from the mist. Carved into the rock and hanging from thick vines, the villages of Mysteria are home to a people as steadfast and mysterious as the mountain ranges they call home. From birth, they learn to traverse the steep landscape, relying on their own strength and agility to travel from one building to another. Hanging gardens are suspended between the cliffs, a burst of green against the backdrop of stone and rock. Even the largest villages are home to close-knit communities founded long ago by the great houses of Mysteria. Yet the Veil of Mist hides a wealth of secrets far beyond those of the villages tucked into the mountainside. Grand masters roam the land, equal parts mystery and legend, gifting their time and wisdom to those determined enough to seek them out. Secret organizations work behind the scenes, ensuring the safety of their people, while long-forgotten clans hide from those that would see them extinguished. The world beyond the mountains holds little interest to the people of Mysteria, who prefer to lead simple lives in the company of their fellow villagers. Removed from the struggles and petty conflicts of the outside world, they find satisfaction in introspection and self-discipline, training rigorously to strengthen their bodies and sharpen their minds. Despite the difficulties of living in such a place, Mysterians would argue that the beauty and tranquility of their home more than makes up for any inconvenience. Their hard work and dedication are rewarded with the experience of living in one of the most beautiful environments in all of Wraith, as the light of dawn breaks through the mists and illuminates the deep gullies below. Among the Mists The steep landscape of Mysteria is equal parts treacherous and tranquil. The sun streams through the clouds, illuminating the mists in shades of white and gold, broken by the patches of greenery that have made their claim amongst the rock face. Yet those who are not born within Mysteria would struggle to survive in such an inhospitable environment, where one wrong step can send you plummeting down to the sharp rocks far below. The villages of Mysteria are built in some of the most inaccessible areas in Wraith, and those who live here must rely on their strength and agility to travel amongst the mountains. Racing along suspended ropes, scaling cliffs, and jumping across platforms are all second nature for the people of Mysteria, who have built their lives around the unique environment. A persistent layer of mist blankets villages across Mysteria, broken only by beams of sunlight streaming through the clouds. With the dawn, the village stirs as Mysterians rise to begin their daily tasks. Farmers begin to tend to the hanging gardens, caring for plots of rice and vegetables. Others journey down to the waters below, laying out their nets to catch fish for the morning markets. Inns open their doors to the morning air, tea houses begin to make their food for the day, and students make their way to the dojo for training. The people of Mysteria value hard work and dedication, traits necessary not only to survive, but to thrive in the unforgiving landscape that they call home. Beneath the Veil Mysterians follow in the footsteps of their forefathers, working to preserve ancient traditions and teach each new generation in the way of their ancestors. Over thousands of years, Mysterians have developed a unique way of life, intrinsic to their environment, encompassing creative endeavors, practical arts, and martial styles. From elaborate ceremonies and festivals, to their education in the seven arts, to the existence of groups such as the Grandmasters Guild and Awi's Scales, Mysteria is deeply rooted in ancient customs and rituals dating back to the beginning of human civilization. Rite of Passing According to legend, the Rite of Passing is held on the one day of the year when the veil between worlds is thinnest, and the world of spirits is closest to the world of the living. The Rite honors the dead by welcoming the spirits home and inviting them to take part in the celebrations. When night falls, all Mysterians don an ornate ceremonial mask that hides their face from view and makes the living indistinguishable from the dead. 
Lanterns are lit and raised into the sky, floating among the stars, illuminating the dancers below. The celebrations last through the night and do not end until dawn, when the spirits return to the realm of the dead. Mist Cloak Gully The ancestral home of the House of Sanjing, Mist Cloak Gully is a sprawling collection of steep cliffs surrounding a natural lake. The waterfalls within the gully produce a thick blanket of mist, which obscures many of the buildings that lie deep within. Far below, a fast-moving stream travels through the gully, the sound of rushing water echoing up the stone walls. Between the Cities Hidden between the mountains are a wealth of villages and towns following ancient traditions. The treacherous landscape and thick blanket of mist hide these villages from outsiders, concealing the buildings from view. Individual houses hang between the cliffs, suspended from massive networks of rope that can support the weight of entire villages. Larger communal buildings are carved into the mountainside, taverns, inns, tea houses, dojos, spaces for markets and shops, as well as places to eat and spaces for sparring. The villages of Mysteria were founded by the Great Houses of Mysteria, who live in larger clusters of buildings, constructed on the highest levels of the village. The Hidden Villages The steep mountains and jagged cliffs of Mysteria make traditional styles of building impossible, so the people of Mysteria have learned to construct their homes in tandem with the treacherous landscape. Buildings are suspended from vines and ropes, constructed atop bamboo poles, or carved into the mountainside itself. Mysterians commonly traverse the narrow gorges by running atop vines or ropes suspended between buildings. While villages, towns, and cities elsewhere are constructed horizontally, many villages within Mysteria are constructed vertically, traversing the space between their highest peaks and the ravines below. Some buildings are even constructed on top of the water itself, only partially anchored at the sides in order to rise and fall with the water levels. Homes and Inns The size, scale, and style of a house depends entirely on the family who resides within, and their standing within the village. Members of the main house commonly have their homes grouped together, with a small courtyard to connect the buildings. Inns, however, are much larger than the average home and usually built for stability. Dojo and Training Grounds A space for training is built near the heart of a village, as the building is used by all Mysterians for combat practice and to maintain their strength and agility. A dojo, however, is a place for formal training and built in a more isolated area in order to provide a quiet, tranquil training environment. Tea Houses A place for people to gather after a day's work to chat, socialize, and enjoy a cup of tea. Tea houses can be found built into the rock face, suspended from a cliff overhang, or, in villages near lakes, built atop the water. Guard Posts These are integral to the communication between villages, serving as an early warning system for attacks and other dangers. The Seven Arts The Seven Arts encompass every occupation and role within Mysteria. Education for every Mysterian begins with a foundation in all seven arts, slowly reducing the number of subjects as the child chooses their path. The Seven Arts have been a part of Mysterian culture for generations, curated from centuries of traditions and customs. Through the Seven Arts, ancient skills and practices have been preserved so that they can be passed on for generations to come. Major Arts There is a particular focus on the Major Arts, which include the fundamental lessons for a child of Mysteria. Language, agility, and basic combat are all incredibly important for anyone living within Mysteria, and so the Major Arts are an area of focus during education. Signs The first art, the art of the signs, is comprised of the study of language and culture. Those who study this art help to record history, compose poetry and songs, and guide the many ceremonies across Mysteria. Hand 
This art is the study of basic combat. While some students of the hand may go on to study the art of the sparrow or the art of the serpent, many choose to continue studying the art of the hand, which contains a wide variety of martial arts and combat techniques. The art of the hand is perhaps one of the most versatile, providing a foundation not only in combat, but in teaching young Mysterians the importance of strength and balance, both fundamental skills for living amongst the mountain ranges. It does not focus exclusively on hand-to-hand -hand combat, but rather involves a series of techniques and fundamentals that cover the basics of most martial styles. The art of the hand teaches combat techniques, which can be used for both offensive and defensive purposes. The hand includes both armed and unarmed combat styles, though training typically begins with the two fundamental unarmed martial styles, the Dao Strikes and the Fado Technique. The Dao Strikes are a basic striking and parry system, which focus on quickly getting close to an opponent and locking in melee range physical combat, while also protecting the ninja's vital organs. Meanwhile, the Fado techniques utilize footwork, which emphasizes maintaining balance through a central line of power, allowing the student to anchor themselves and apply force from any position. Those students who choose to train for armed combat may study multiple weapons or specialize solely with one. Alongside the various types of swords, weapons may also include metal fans, called gunsen, long staves known as bow, long-handled weapons such as the naginata, a longbow, the yumi, or three-pronged weapons known as sai. Sparrow The art of the sparrow is the art of agility and balance. While all Mysterians have basic training in the art of the sparrow, masters of this art are a sight to behold, weaving their way across the battlefield with ease. Those who train in the art of the sparrow practice more swift, graceful martial styles, using their speed and agility to their advantage. Rather than blocking or disarming their opponent, they slip past their opponent's defenses, using their own momentum against them. A master of the art of the sparrow can deflect attacks, turning them back on their opponent as if diverting the flow of a stream. Minor Arts The minor arts, while included in the basic education of every young child in Mysteria, are not a main focus of their studies. Despite this, the minor arts still play a vital role within Mysteria. Serpent the art of the serpent encompasses stealth and assassination techniques. Those who study the art of the serpent are all but invisible, taking down their opponents with deadly precision. The best students of the serpent can hide in plain sight, using their surroundings to their advantage, able to navigate their way through a crowd without ever being seen. Earth The second minor art, the art of the earth, covers herbalism, farming, and tending to nature. Those who study this art help not only with growing food for those across Mysteria, but provide aid to villages through herbalism and healing. Life within Mysteria would be almost impossible without their unique agriculture, carefully cultivated by students of the earth. Hanging gardens provide a space to grow rice, vegetables, herbs, and other essential plants, all necessary in order for a village to survive. Stone The third art the art of the stone is comprised of masonry and building. Students of the stone work to construct and maintain buildings, and are responsible for Mysteria's unique way of building around the landscape. The stone also encompasses all forms of forging, smithing, stonework, and metalwork, from forming tableware, cutlery and cookware, to forging and engraving weapons. Finally, the art of the stone encompasses some forms of woodwork, such as creating larger pieces of furniture and maintaining the various ropes and bridges connecting the villages of Mysteria. Willow The fourth art, the art of the willow, is the art of tailoring and weaving professions. Students of the willow are experts in creating the loose, billowing fabrics that Mysterians are known for, and also help to create many other aspects of dress, such as the elaborate masks worn for some ceremonies and festivals. Secret Arts Every major household in Mysteria has their own secret art, combat-related or otherwise. While some households have secret arts in the skills of weaving fabric, 
foraging weapons, or constructing buildings, most households have a secret art for use in battle. From the Eternal Crane to Dance of the Falling Petals, each secret art is associated with a different house, and each art is only taught to members of the house. Teaching a secret art to an outsider is the worst form of betrayal a Mysterian can commit. However, the households of Mysteria are not the only ones to possess secret arts. Many Grandmasters are credited with creating their own secret art, something that they might occasionally teach to a student or apprentice. Occasionally, a Grandmaster may pass away without teaching their secret art to anyone, ensuring that their art dies alongside them. Prestigious Households Sanjing the Sanjing House is the largest clan in Mist Cloak Gully, the home of their ancestors. The most famous member of the Sanjing House is Master Fang Min, who created the secret art of the Eternal Crane, a balanced combat style that combines evasive maneuvers and quick, sharp counterattacks. Miharu this house creates some of the best armor in Mysteria, formed from leather and toughened cloth. Flexible enough for hand-to-hand -hand combat, yet tough enough to defend against attacks from a sharp weapon, the Miharu House provides armor for some of the largest houses in Mysteria. Yijun a house that prides themselves on their weaving, members of the Yejun house create some of the most remarkable items of clothing imaginable. Many people of Mysteria purchase items from festivals and celebrations from the Yejun house. Fabric woven by members of the Yejun house can resemble anything from the shimmering ripples of a slow-moving stream to the gentle glitter of sunlight streaming through the mists. Ishigaki the village surrounding Mist Cloak Gully exists, in part, due to the talent and skill found within the Ishigaki House. The work of stonemasons from this house is incomparable, as in carving buildings into the surrounding cliffs, they utilize the stone itself to prevent water damage and structural problems. Ikaru the Ikaru clan, also known as the House of Blossoms, was one of the great houses of Mysteria that perished during the Night of the Dark Tide. Founded by Mistress Ikaru 400 years prior, the Ikaru were adept at defensive martial styles and were home to some of the best carpenters and woodworkers in all of Mysteria. The Legend of Mistress Ikaru Long ago, a mysterious woman landed on the shores of Mysteria. She came from an unknown land, traveling from village to village. This mysterious young woman rarely spoke, occasionally giving voice to a question or engaging with someone in quiet discussion. One day, she came across a wizened old man sitting on a log, carefully setting out his wares on a worn blanket. On the ground before him lay five items, a chunk of rock, a dark crystal, a pale branch, a vibrant flower, and a tiny pouch. Looking over the items, the woman found herself drawn to the pouch. Old and faded, its drawstrings were tied in a simple knot, concealing the contents within. Curious, she asked if he knew what lay within and if she might open it. Silently, the old man shook his head. After a moment's deliberation, the woman removed a ring from her finger, a deceptively plain silver band. Would this be a fair trade? The old man merely smiled in response, offering a small nod. Thanking him, she passed him the ring, taking the pouch in exchange. The woman continued on her travels, moving from village to village. For months she traveled across Mysteria, seemingly searching for something, yet never finding what it was that she was looking for. Finally, she came across a steep mountain range, carefully picking her way down the rocky slope. Standing atop a small hill, she looked upon a rolling valley and pulled out the pouch that she had traded for so long ago. From the pouch, the woman removed a single pale seed. She planted it with her own two hands, watering and caring for the tiny seedling that sprouted. The seedling slowly grew into a beautiful cherry blossom tree, bright and beautiful in its stance, high above the village built below. Mistress Ikaru, once a mysterious stranger, took a name in honor of the tree that now watched over her home. The House of Blossoms flourished under her careful guidance, growing from a tiny village into a house worthy of its founder. 
Long after the mistress took her last breath, the Ikaru clan would continue to grow, thriving under the branches of the cherry blossom tree. The Keepers of the Seven Arts a guild of instructors and academics with close affiliations to the Grand Masters Guild. Due to their strong presence and noble cause of promoting learning and progress, the Keepers are much loved and revered by Mysterians. Almost all Mysterian instructors are trained and stationed by the Keepers of the Seven Arts. Occasionally, a Keeper may take on an apprentice, a young student who lives with the Keeper and studies their way of life. With time, the apprentice will be trained to take over the keeper's position as a teacher and preserve their unique techniques and skills. Grandmasters Guild The Grandmasters Guild is not an organization, but a collection of individuals with mastery over their respective arts. The exact requirements and selection process are shrouded in mystery, but the Grandmaster's legacy is well known across Mysteria as they work to promote the Seven Arts and improve villages across the region. Owie's Scales an elusive organization of spies and assassins known only by the symbol that they leave behind. Members of Owie's Scales are rarely seen lurking within the mists as they watch over the people of Mysteria protecting their home from potential threats. G, the Blind Ferryman Every year, those seeking enlightenment must make the journey to Skylark Peak. On the banks of a grand river, the Blind Ferryman awaits these travelers. For some, he is a guide, transporting them upstream to the final stretch of the trail. Others awaken at the base of the mountain, left to return home empty-handed. The Oracle, Valdis. A woman travels amongst the Milesian ranges in the space between Mysteria and the land beyond. Occasionally, one may seek her out, searching for answers and the chance to gaze into their future. Those who succeed return changed, wide-eyed, wishing that they had heeded her warning. For few who see their futures are pleased with what they find. Grand Master Zhao. At the break of dawn, as sunlight begins to stream through the thick blanket of mist, Grand Master Zhao appears in a village to begin his work. Villages across Mysteria claim to have been visited by this man, tall and willowy behind his pale robes, healing the ill and repairing buildings. Every village he visits soon experiences a change of fortune as their crops flourish and people thrive. Legend speaks of the Grand Master's secret art, mirroring the shifting waters, fluid and graceful.